What's up guys? Today's video, we are eating only fast foods that start with the letter D. So I thought this would be a fun video to do. Hopefully it will be fun for you guys to watch. Now I've actually done this before just with regular food. So I thought let's do a fast food version. Can you guys guess where we are going for our first meal? We are going to Dunkin' Donuts. To Dunkin' to get a donut. That is literally perfect. What can I get for you today? Hi, good morning. Could I get two donuts? Alright, anything else? Yes, could I also do a double espresso over ice with oat milk? And can I get two pumps of the butter pecan in that? Anything else? No, that's gonna be it. Oh my goodness, Duncan. Duncan is really failing us this morning. They don't have any of their glazed donuts. I wish Starbucks had donuts because they would not fail us like this. Okay, well, on a funny note, the car that's in front of me, I followed them the entire way here, almost from my apartment. Followed them all the way here to Duncan. I probably look like a stalker, but nope, I guess we're both just wanting some Duncan this morning. <laughs> also, do you guys like what I did with that double espresso? I couldn't get coffee because that starts with a C, but I got a double espresso which starts with a D. My mind, my mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but no, I, I thought that was pretty creative. Would you like your receipt? Um, no, that's okay, thank you. Thank you. I miss having my tinted windows because I could look into their window without them seeing me, but now I feel like a creeper just looking into their window because they can see me. <laughs> Thanks, have a good day. Thank you. Okay, here's our double espresso over ice. Obviously it doesn't look super appetizing, but I don't know, who knows? Maybe it's gonna taste really good. I actually get a triple espresso from Starbucks now. So this is my go-to drink. I found a little hack at Starbucks. Well, it's not really a hack, but I will go to Starbucks and get a triple espresso over ice with extra oat milk and then three pumps of toffee nut. It tastes exactly like the shaken espresso with toffee nut, except it's cheaper and you get it in a venti cup so you got to say you want triple espresso in a venti cup and you get like more drink that way but yeah anyways okay here is our Dunkin bag let's see what we got I already peeked in it I think we got some pretty tasty donuts we got just the regular classic glaze. I really wanted something with sprinkles on it, but you know, I guess they're out of pretty much all their donuts today. I don't know what's going on in there. And then he did give us a Boston cream donut. I believe that's what this one is. So this one should be pretty good, but I'm first gonna try this double espresso because I'm really curious about this to see how it is. As you guys can see on the sticker, it says double espresso. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> their espresso is strong. I was not expecting that. I think it's because the espresso I get from Starbucks is the blonde espresso. I forgot how strong regular espresso is. Would I recommend it? I don't know. I would say if you wanted to get something like this from Dunkin', ask for extra, extra oat milk. Wow, okay. Whoo! Now let's bite into our delicious donut. Mmm. That's so good. Look at all that cream. Okay, that one's really, really freaking tasty. Now let's try the classic glazed. Which we already know is going to be good. I mean, can't go wrong with a glazed donut. Mmm. I definitely would have preferred chocolate frosted. The strawberry frosted with sprinkles looked so good. I really wanted a frosted donut, but it's okay. I mean, this works. Not trying to complain. <laughs> A donut is a donut at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa, okay. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> this needs to be filled back up to like here with milk. <laughs> that is gonna get me jumping for the rest of the day. 
All right, you guys, for lunch, we are getting a double cheeseburger. And I decided just to get it from McDonald's because their cheeseburgers are really good when they're fresh. And I'm also gonna get a Diet Coke to treat myself because that is a drink that starts with a D. Hey, Hi, could I just do a double cheeseburger and then a medium Diet Coke? Medium for you? No, that's gonna be it. $5 okay, thank you. You're welcome. She was very cheerful. I appreciate that. A double cheeseburger sounds so good right now. And yes, we are getting creative with the doubles. <laughs> the only bad part about this is that I can't get anything else because it doesn't start with a D. So I can't get french fries. And man, I really want some fries right now. Like I really, really want some french fries. How hey, how are you doing? How are you? Good. Thanks, have a good day. Yeah, it's so hard to come to McDonald's and not get their fries. I think the fries from McDonald's is the best thing on their menu and we can only get a double. We also could have got a double quarter pounder with cheese. So that could have been an option as well. I mean, really anything that you can make a double, but I just thought, you know, a double cheeseburger, that's, that's good. That's good for lunch because we still have a few other foods as well that we're gonna be getting throughout the day. Double yes, thank you. Thanks. Have a good day. All right. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Okay, guys. McDonald's back has been secured. Our double cheeseburger has been secured. Let me find some parking somewhere. Okay, here is our Diet Coke. Oh my gosh. McDonald's has. I want to say the best Diet Coke. I don't know. Burger King is up there too. Their fountain drinks. Oh my gosh. It goes hard. All right. Let's take a look at this double cheeseburger. As you guys can see on the wrapper, it says double cheeseburger. Mm, and this is hot and fresh too. Ooh, this is a greasy boy. Oh my gosh. It looks so good though. It actually is. Whoa. That looks really greasy for McDonald's. I've never seen their cheeseburger look like that before. Nonetheless, I'm still very excited about this. So let's give it a bite. Hmm. That's good. Mm hmm. The bun is actually so warm and soft today. And look how melty the cheese is. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is actually so good right now. I just want to devour this double cheeseburger. It's a really good bite right there. Mm. Okay, super yummo. Can we finish this in two bites? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I actually want to savor this. <laughs> I don't know why this was so good today, but that was a top tier double cheeseburger. Wow, that was seriously amazing. Who knew? Who knew a double cheeseburger would hit that hard? I don't know what about it, but that was incredible. So you guys need to go to McDonald's right now and get a double cheeseburger just, just because. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see y'all for our next fast food item that starts with a D. All right, you guys, we are gonna have a little pre-dinner snack at Taco Bell, and that is to get their Doritos Locos Taco. That is the number one fast food item that starts with a D that I wanted when I was planning this video. I think that's the best fast food item that starts with a D. I don't know, y'all let me know. I'm sure I'm gonna forget something. I try to do some good planning for this video, so yeah. Welcome to Taco Bell. 
Hi, could I just get two Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme? Uh huh. And some Diablo sauce with that? It'll be seven oh two. Um, do you guys have Diet Mountain Dew? We have Mountain Dew Zero. Um, that's not Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. Okay, I'll do a small Diet Pepsi then. All right, and your total will be nine forty seven. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh man, I was kind of hoping for some Mountain Dew, but Mountain Dew Zero starts with an M. Diet Mountain Dew starts with a D. Do they even make Diet Mountain Dew? I'm not quite sure. That might not even be a thing. I don't ever drink Mountain Dew, so I'm not familiar with the Dews. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna get water at the next spot that we get for dinner time. I need some water in my life. Oh, that's good. Oh, Taco Bell. They got good fountain drinks too. Thank you. This Taco Bell that I come to, when you pull up to the window to get your food, you always see like three different people. They just make rounds, handing stuff out, I guess. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Thank you. All right, you guys, Taco Bell bag has been secured. The DLTs have been secured. All right, let me come, let me come. <laughs> let me go park over here. Oh my, this lighting is insulting, but we're just gonna have to make it work. Let's try opening up the sunroof. I never use this sunroof because I'm not even used to having one because my last car didn't have one, so I never open it up, but I need to start using it. All right, we got our Diablo sauce and then the Doritos Locos Taco. I'm gonna have to be very careful eating this. Taco Bell in the car, messy, messy. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna have to devour this taco and not interrupt myself. So I think y'all may just have to watch me eat this taco from start to finish without saying anything. Okay, here is the Doritos Locos Taco. Let's dive in. Mmm. Man, that's so good. I got the wrapper in my lap, so hopefully everything just drops into there. This is everything right now. Okay, that's one DLT down. I think I did a pretty good job eating it without not much fallout. Without much fallout. Okay, now for the second DLT. I'm gonna be honest, this, this kind of tastes spicy. Did they bring back their hot DLT? Cause didn't they used to have some sort of spicy DLT? Something about this shell. It's a little spicy. All right, we're gonna take this taco from the bottom.
Okay, second taco completed. Did I Taco Bell have a double decker taco before? Or am I tripping? I thought the double decker was still a thing, but whenever I was looking at their menu, I didn't see any sort of double decking, double decker taco. But I really think that was a thing in the past. I don't know. Okay, I'll see you guys for dinner. Okay guys, for dinner, we are at Bojangles to get a meal and I feel like I really did it with this one. I think this is so creative. I don't even know how I came up with this, but when I saw the Bojangles menu, I was like, this is perfect. Okay, y'all check this out. <laughs> what can I get for you? Hi, can I do the two piece combo with two drumsticks? What's the size? I'll just do the dirty rice and a water to drink, and that's gonna be it. Not a water, a cup. Just a cup, please. That's gonna be it. $7.89. Okay, thank you. Do you guys see what I did there? Two drumsticks and dirty rice. I mean, it's, it's genius. <laughs> it's literally genius. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys. Bojangles box secured. Let's park right here, actually. Is this good parking? I think it is. So here is what's inside of our Bojangles box. We do have a biscuit, but I can't eat the biscuit because that starts with a B, <laughs> not a D. Here's our drumstick. Mm -mm -mm. And then we have our dirty rice. Bojangles dirty rice, honestly, is really freaking good. And I know Bojangles is not in a lot of places because I did a Bojangles mukbang before and a lot of y'all said that y'all hadn't really heard of Bojangles, you haven't had Bojangles before, but Bojangles is good, let me tell you, it is. There is the dirty rice, so good. It has sausages in it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm hmm Yeah, that's that's delicious. Set that right there. I do wish I had something to dip the chicken in. I wonder if it would be good with Diablo sauce from Taco Bell. Hmm. I don't know. Mmm. Oh hot. That is so good though. This is what their chicken looks like up close. Mm-hmm. They got some good breading at Bojangles. Oh, temperature wise, it's hot, hot, hot. They give you fresh of the fresh. Okay, honestly though, how do y'all think I did? I honestly think I did a good job. I feel like a lot of these items I was very creative with. I really try to think of what would be considered starting with a D. <laughs> I wanna know what you guys can come up with that maybe I missed. I mean, I feel like there's definitely a few options out there that I'm not thinking about whatsoever. It has to be fast food though. Like Gabe was like, oh, go get dumplings. And I was like, dumplings? Where am I gonna get dumplings from at a fast food place? I don't even think Panda Express sells dumplings. At least not that I know of. At least I don't think there's any fast food place near me that sells dumplings. So couldn't do that. I know when I did this with regular food, I got dragon fruit and that was actually really cool. <gasps> We should go to Dunkin' and get a dragon fruit refresher. Oh yes, okay. All right, let me finish this. Let's go to Dunkin', I mean, let's go to Starbucks and get a dragon fruit refresher, yes. 
Welcome to Starbucks. We're gonna start for you. Hi, could I do the dragon fruit refresher, please? Okay, do you want water, lemonade, or coconut milk? I will do coconut milk, please. Sure thing. And what size for you? Just a grande is fine. Okay, anything else today? No, that's gonna be it. It's gonna be 528. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> I am really freaking sick and I don't know where it came from because I really do not get sick like that and I think this year is the the most amount of times I've ever gotten sick before I've been sick twice this year already three times I think twice I don't know but I've been trying to hide it but I am so stuffy did you want to use your stars or just the money no that's okay just the money I got you. thank you you too Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. Oh gosh, <laughs> there's people out there who can totally hear me. Okay, let's try this. I have not had a dragon fruit drink in so long. This looks super delicious though. Oh, they call it a dragon drink whenever you get the coconut milk in it. <laughs> Thank you, Starbucks. Thank you. This was the perfect way to end off this video. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If only it had caffeine in it. Because let me tell you guys, that double espresso from this morning, that double espresso at Dunkin' was so bad. I could not finish it. I couldn't even drink it. It was painful to drink. So I have not gotten my caffeine fixed today, and I am back to having... <laughs> coffee every day so when I don't have caffeine I just I feel sluggish which I do I get a headache which I have which that could be because I'm also sick I don't know but this, this is everything right now mm-hmm um the little dragon fruits in it <laughs> perfection Okay, well, I'm gonna sip on my drink. I think that's it for this video, you guys. I had so much fun filming this. This was actually a challenge, so I'm so glad that we actually did a food challenge that, you know, was actually kind of hard. So if you guys enjoyed it, please drop a thumbs up down below. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>